Hello everybody in year five and year six, it's Ella again, we are back. Welcome back to music. Hope you had a lovely week off last week for half term and that you're feeling refreshed and revived to continue some fantastic learning for this term. We're gonna be continuing looking at different parts of music that make up our greatest railway chant that we were learning. And that first part is rhythm. Rhythm, such an important part of music. It's really the backbone of music. A lot of people do say that. So we're gonna be exploring and practicing and learning some new rhythms today. So we've had a week off. Now more than ever is super important to warm up our bodies. So we're gonna start with just a gentle shrug of our shoulders. Good, now moving on to our arms. If you can give your arms a nice stretch out as always, making sure when you're watching these videos, you've got quite a bit of space. Make sure you don't knock out anybody, your cat, your dog, your brother or your sister or anything like that. Try and see if you can put your arms round in some circles and then the other way as well. Brilliant, really, really good. We've done our arms, we've done our shoulders. Let's move on to our wrists now. Again, just making sure those circles with our wrists are really, really gentle, not too vigorous. And then making sure that we're going in both directions as well. Lovely stuff. Next, let's come back up to our head and our neck. We're gonna try and draw a nice big circle with our head. Good, and then changing direction as well. Making sure it's nice and smooth and round. We're only drawing a circle. We don't want to be drawing any triangles or squares or anything like that. Really, really, really good. And then we're just going to look up to the ceiling, making sure we're really, really pulling, using those muscles in our neck. They're not too stiff. And then looking down. And then looking to the side and then the other side and back to the front. Excellent. Now, last term we learned lots and lots of new music words. I really, really hope you haven't forgotten those words. And the first word we're gonna come back to today is our pulse. We're gonna warm up our bodies with our body tapping exercise. Do you remember before half term, we did the exercise where we tapped 16 times? 16 times, 16 times, 16 times, and then back up to eight. Eight, 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 four, 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 two, 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 one, 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 and then the clap. And then the week after, in every set of those, in every first beat of those 16, of those eight, of those four, of those two, we replaced the tap with a clap and that's exactly what we're going to do today. We're gonna to do that warm up once more all together. Now, if you're slightly unsure about what I'm talking about, don't worry at all. I'm gonna give you a quick example now. <laughs> now get the idea. We're going to have a go now all together. Just remember for every part of our body it's 16, 8, 4, 2, 1 and a clap at the end but for every first one we're going to clap and not tap. I'm going to pop the backing track on. Let's go. <laughs>
thing we're going to look at today is something super, super important in music. I've already said this. It is the backbone of music, and that is rhythm. Rhythm in music is what makes it always sound different. If we know a piece of music is slow, and if we know a piece of music is fast, sometimes in that slow piece and in that fast piece, the rhythms can be the same, but also sometimes the rhythms can be different. So I'm gonna show you today a couple of different types of rhythms that make them really, really stand out and individual to each other. We're also gonna have a go at playing and learning some rhythms all together. So just wherever you are, make sure, we don't need any instruments for this whatsoever, but just make sure you have got something that you can tap on. So whether you want to clap, that's absolutely fine. Whether you want to tap on a tabletop surface, or you can get something out of your kitchen. Two spoons, a fork and a spoon, a rolling pin, and a spoon, something like that. Be as creative as you can. Go and have a little look in your kitchen and that is all you need for this next bit. So first of all, we're gonna have a little look at this and we're gonna start with this top one here. Lots of you who do music in school, I'm sure will have seen this before. This type of rhythm in music is called a crotchet. Now this crotchet lasts for one beat, but lots of you as well know that this crotchet, we can work, use the word T to remember that a crotchet lasts for one beat. I'm sure lots of you will also have seen this type of rhythm before. These are called, the proper music word is two quavers. So we've got one crotchet and two Quavers. Now these two quavers also last for one beat, which means that each of them is half a beat because half and a half makes a whole. The proper music word, as I said, is quavers, but we can use, if it helps you, the word coffee to remember that there are two of them. So we've got a tea and coffee. So now that we've recapped our teas and our coffees, let's have a little look at this first rhythm. On your tabletops or on your kitchen items, we're gonna have a go at tapping and playing this rhythm all together. We're gonna go after four. Are we ready? Have a little look closely one more time before we start. Ready, one, two, three, four, tea, coffee, coffee, tea. Brilliant. If we come back to our first sheet that we saw, you will notice a third type of rhythm on this side of the page. Now you'll notice we haven't got one note, we haven't got two notes, but this time we have got three notes grouped together. The proper music word for these three notes grouped together is a triplet, but a triplet also only lasts for one beat. So that means that each note is a third of one beat, so it goes a little bit faster. And the word that we can use to remember the rhythm of the triplet is Saturday. So just to recap, we've got tea, coffee, and Saturday for our crotchet, our two quavers, and our three triplets. So to practice our triplets, we're gonna have a go at this one, looking really, really carefully, whether we've got a tea, a coffee, or a Saturday here, ready with your tabletop items or your kitchen surfaces, we're gonna have a go at playing this one together after four. Are we ready? One, two, three, four. Tea, Saturday, tea, Saturday. Really, really good. Have a little go at this one now, looking really, really closely at what we've got here. We're gonna have a go all together this time. After four, one, two, three, four, Saturday tea, coffee tea. Brilliant, we're gonna do that one one more time. I'm not gonna say it this time, it's just gonna be your turn. Ready, after four, one, two, three, four, Excellent stuff. And here is our third one for luck. Have a little look. Making sure when you're tapping and you're playing, whatever you're playing as well, 
that your taps are really, really clear so we can hear the difference between our teas, our Saturdays and our coffees. I'm not going to say this one out loud because you are all doing brilliantly well yourselves. Let's have a go all together after four. One, two, three, four. Good. One more time. One, two, three, four. Some fantastic work today. Now rhythms exactly like the ones that we have just learned are always used in lots and lots of different types of music around and these rhythms can often be repeated as a pattern and that pattern continues throughout the whole piece of music. So when we find a rhythm in music that is always repeated throughout the whole piece of the music. This rhythmic pattern is called an ostinato. Our new music word today is ostinato. And now we are going to learn the ostinato that fits with our chant, The Greatest Railway. So this is a rhythmical pattern that once we have learnt this and we have learnt the full chant of The Greatest Railway, would they fit together really, really well. And that rhythmic pattern goes on and on and on throughout the whole piece. So this is our Greatest Railway ostinato. The first thing we are going to learn is the rhythm, so don't worry about the words too much for the moment. If we have a good close look at it, what types of rhythms can we see? Have a look at this bit, what is that? Well done to those of you who spotted our Saturday. And this bit, well done to those of you who spotted our T. Try and see if we can tap this bit all the way through. I'll do it with you for now. Are we ready after four? One, two, three, four. Saturday T, Saturday T. Brilliant. One more time. Saturday T, Saturday T. Excellent stuff. So that was the first part. This is the second part that comes straight after. A few coffees in there, having a good look. Let's see if we can tap this bit all together first. Again, don't worry about the words for the moment. Are we ready? One, two, three, four. Coffee, coffee, Saturday tea. Good, have a go without me saying it. One, two, three, four. Good, one more time for luck. Brilliant. So if we pop both parts of the ostinato now together, it sounds a little bit like this. Saturday tea, Saturday tea, coffee, coffee, Saturday tea. Think you can all have a go at that now? Make sure you've still got your spoons, your rolling pins or your surfaces tapping nice and clearly let's have a go all together after four one two three four saturday tea saturday tea coffee coffee saturday tea great one more time saturday tea saturday tea coffee coffee saturday tea some great stuff today and just like we learnt those rhythms through our teas, coffees and Saturdays, for this ostinato there are some specific words for our greatest railway ostinato that we can use to help remember the rhythm. So the first part is clickety-clack, rails on the track. Have a go and see if you can say that with me. Clickety-clack. Really, really good. And the next part, if you have a little look closely, we have got keep on moving, clickety-clack. See if you can have a go at saying that with me. Keep on moving, clickety-clack. Good. So just before we finish today, this is the ostinato all the way through. You can use the words on here if it helps you as well. We're going to have a go once more through. Are we ready after four? One, two, three, four. Clickety-clack, 
rails on the track, keep on moving, clickety clack. Good. One more time, clickety clack. Some very impressive work today from all you year fives and year sixes. Really, really well done. You should be really proud of yourselves. We have learned a brand new ostinato and part of the music to the greatest railway. Next week, we're going to have a go at popping that with our chant and with our body percussion, putting it all together as a final performance. Hope you really, really enjoyed this lesson. I wonder this week if you can think of your own ostinato. You could think about using those rhythms, using your pots and pans and your surfaces that you've got at home. Have a little think to see if you could maybe make up your own ostinato. And I look forward to maybe hearing some of them as well. That would be brilliant. In the meantime, hope you are staying really, really safe still, keeping really, really well. And we will see you next week for another fantastic lesson. Take care. Bye.